In this particular virtual platform, there is an option to have the text chat put on. If you click on the PDA and go text to speech, there are no activities for you to do at this point. In Let's go back and see what this looks like in the game. Welcome to the atrium. Use the arrow keys to control your character's movements. The character in front of you will provide you with more information. So off we go using the arrow keys. We can go down to the left where we can pick up and um, change other into other avatars. Or we can go to the right if we follow that uh, doorway down to the right you find yourself in a place where you can purchase uh, other items uh, using the gold coins that you collect during your missions. The other character that you see here is just a, an, a, an informational avatar. There are no other um, individuals that are participating in this. As we go up into the blue dais, we see that there is a library of different quests that become available. This is a limited version of the quests that are available, but uh, let's just click on, for instance, the volcanoes and earthquakes. Volcanoes and earthquakes. Z As we uh, go down, you can see that there are up to 15 different quests that are within this particular module. If you go back up to the first one, you'll notice that it's MCQ, which means multiple choice questions, but there are an eight different ways in which questions are asked in these quests. Let's um, select the first one. In this task you must gather knowledge by meeting different characters who will give you information. Objects in the environment contain multiple choice questions based on the information you have been given. As you collect objects, the questions they contain are stored in your data. In this task, you will examine the key characteristics of volcanoes and earthquakes. You will meet several characters. The characters will provide you with information about the key characteristics of volcanoes. You will then answer a series of multiple choice questions. So as I click on the arrow down to the bottom right, and use my arrow keys to move forward, depressing the shift key to move even faster, I now use the GPS control down to the right to see where uh, the questions are located. And as quickly as possible, I move about, gathering up the questions. This is part of the gaming aspect of this particular resource, in that the faster that you collect the questions and answer the questions correctly, the more gold coins that you have to collect. I'm going to come to our first character. I'll only use the one at this point. Clicking on the information button, we'll see that information is given. Now I can hold the uh, mouse pointer over the text and it will be read out to me. Volcanoes are vents, openings in the ground where magma, molten rock from inside the earth erupts. So I can go to the various examples. A shield volcano has gentle slopes and a wide base. Lava erupts regularly. At this point, however, I'm just going to assume that we have spoken to all the characters and we've gotten all the information. As I move away from the character, you'll notice that the, P the PDA comes back. When I click on the PDA, I can now go to select, which will open up a bank of questions for me. Which of these is a natural hazard? At that point, I select the one that is a natural hazard. A volcano. Go down to the select to see if I've selected the right one. And you see that the feedback is immediate. Which type of volcano is not usually violent? A shield volcano. Let's see if I've corrected, selected the right one. Yes, I'm going to select a, a wrong one now at this point. Buildings. The 
there we go. Which one of these has gently sloping sides? An earthquake. So as you see, we got a wrong answer on that. So um, students that are going through this are able to get immediate feedback. I'm just going to guess at the rest of these because I want to show you what comes after. At this point, we can go to view your test performance. And you'll see that um, even with guessing on many of these, I've just got 40%. A couple lucky guesses, and I could have easily got 50%, which would have normally be seen as a pass in a regular school system. That doesn't work with this. What you need to do with this program is get 100% mastery. One thing that can help you with that is this button here. It brings you back to the various options, and you can view, for instance, so in this place here, you get the uh, text of all the mistakes that you made, and so that will help you to know what you need to do the next time that you go through to get it right. Now this is the really very exciting part for me, is that when you go to create student work, create student workbook. I'll click on that, and uh, as you can see there are already a number of workbooks saved here, but I'm going to um, select a, a different place for it to go, instead of into the resources folder. So I'm going to go um, start with my name, Gord, and I'm going to um, show that it's the Volcanoes unit, and the first one that I'm doing, and the percentage that I got on it. And I'm going to save that to my desktop. Okay, so on my desktop I now have saved the results of my um, adventure into the, this uh, world of volcanoes. I can now email that attachment to anyone I want, and when they get it, they can click on the icon and see my results. Thank you for listening.